We're going to answer the question today, what are number bonds? When you hear the word bond, you should think of something being stuck together, put together, or held together. In a number bond, we have a number that is broken into other parts, and those parts are put together to make a whole. In a number bond, you might have two parts, or you might have more than two parts. All right, let's look at an example of a number bond. If I have a whole number of 10, and I want to put that into two parts, there's lots of different ways that we can do that, right? Let's just take a 6 and, of course, a 4. And we have created a number bond for the number 10. We could also do any other pair of numbers that add equally to 10 such as a 2 and an 8. We could do 9 and 1, 5 and 5, um, 3 and 7. Another way to look at this number bond would be to rearrange the um, squares in a different order. So we can set it up to look like this, which really isn't any different. Here is our hole, and here are our parts, and they are linked together. 3 and 7 makes 10. If I leave out the 10, and I give you the parts, 7 and 3, then you would be able to fill that in and say, oh, the hole is 10. Really, this number bond can represent an addition problem or a subtraction problem. We started out today with the question of what is a number bond? We looked at some examples of whole numbers broken down into their parts. Our next lesson will talk to us about how we can use larger numbers and find numerous ways to break those whole numbers into other parts. And eventually this is going to lead us to adding and subtracting, multiplying, dividing larger numbers using number bonds as a strategy.